Yo, hello everyone. Uh, today I'm gonna bring to you a video about hit rating, glancing blows and the calculation and how you can uh, improve your gameplay a little bit and your DPS and your threat per, per second. Um, I thought I'd make a video on it because I usually get asked why I can't uh, keep rolling uh, humans and um, uh, same counts for orcs. So basically uh, I tell them because the humans uh, ratios are just too good to not take them. Uh, when it comes to melee DPS and so I'm gonna give you a little bit of insight into uh, the hit rating and the calculation what it actually gives you the weapon skill and uh, What uh, the glancing blows are about and how you can avoid glancing blows or can you actually avoid? Glancing blows or reduce the damage you lose so um, this video is gonna be about hit glancing blows and all that good stuff And I'm gonna jump right into it. so enjoy now, let me start off by saying Weapon, skill and hit rating make a huge difference in your DPS. So the base chance to miss uh, with your maximum weapon skill against uh, a same level opponent is 5% with your two-handed weapon and 24% with the dual wield. Now what hit rating does is more it reduces the chance that you miss an opponent uh, rather than uh, increasing your hit rating. So what comes into play here is the defense skill of your opponent and your own weapon skill. Interesting for the calculation now is the difference between those two. There's two formulas that are going to calculate the hit chance you need and which one you use depends on the difference between the defense skill of the mob you're trying to hit and your weapon skill. I'm going to use human as an example here to calculate stuff with and show you why I always play human but uh, other classes that also have plus weapon skill on their racials are Dwarf, Troll, Orc, and Human. So basically what you gain from weapon skill is hit rating and a reduction of the glancing blow reduction. This is also the reason why Edgemaster and Guards are so expensive on the auction house while it is a 40 something item. It is because it gives you so much weapon skill on top of the base that you already have and this is gonna make a huge difference in the way you can DPS and it rating is going to be calculated. But let me explain. Let us first take a look at the hit rating you gain from weapon skill. You want to look at the defense level the mob has, which is calculated by the uh, level of the mob times 5, and your weapon skill, which is your level times 5, uh, plus the bonus in case you are a human, so that would be plus 5. Uh, you would end up at a defense level of 300 versus a weapon skill level of uh, 305. This is uh, for a regular mob. We want to look at raid bosses though, so we are going to calculate uh, level 63 times 5, which will leave us at a defense skill level of uh, 315 and versus a weapon skill of 300 if you are a non-human orc or whatever, and uh, 305 if you are human. So, what that means is th there's two formulas to calculate this stuff with. First formula is going to be used if the difference between the mob's defense skill and your weapon skill is less than or equal to 10. That would be the case if you are human, because your weapon skill is 305 and the defense level of the mob is 315, which leaves you at 10, which is equal to 10, obviously. So this is the formula. 5% plus the defense skill minus the weapon skill, which is uh, 10 uh, times 0.1%. Now we all know that we multiply before we add or subtract, so we take the 10 times the 0.1%, which leaves us at 1%, and then we add it to the 5%, which leaves us at a 6% hit rate. So you want to gather 6% of hit gear to avoid missing the mob altogether. Now the other formula is used if the difference between the mob's defense skill and your weapon skill is greater than 10. So that would be if you are a dwarf using a sword hitting a raid boss. So for an example, defense skill 315 minus the weapon skill, which is 300, uh, minus 10, leaves you at 5 times 0.4%, so that makes it 2% plus the 7%, so you need to cover 9% with hit rating gear. Uh, to not miss the mob anymore. So now if you, if you compare those two it leaves you at a at a difference of 6% uh, versus 9% just by having the, th the 5 
extra weapon skill by by being human or auric, whatever. What this also means though is that for example a weapon skill of plus four only does not give you anything at all basically because you will not be able to use the good formula which humans use or anything uses that has five weapon skill or more added to the 300 uh, because you're, you're gonna be at 304 and then the difference between the defense uh, level of the raid boss and your weapon skill is gonna be 11. So you only use the first formula if the uh, difference between the mob's defense and your weapon skill is less than or equal to 10. So uh, you're still gonna use the other formula, which means that uh, anything below 5 is useless completely and will not benefit you in any way. But if you can get uh, past the magical uh, barrier of 5 weapon skill, that will give you a great boost in your uh, in your DPS or at least in the hit rating that you need to gather because it's going to drop you down from 9% to 6% that you are going to need to be hit capped. Now interesting to see is if you gain another 5 weapon skill it will not give you much more hit rating. Now for example if you have 310 weapon skill uh, it will only uh, give you another 0.5% hit. If you have 315 weapon skill which is extremely hard to get uh, you would only end up with one additional percent of hit rating. So basically, the 305 is the magical barrier which will grant you a 3% hit, and uh, this is really worth getting. So to sum all of these things up, uh, it is about the difference between the defense level of the boss and your weapon skill. If the difference between the defense level and your weapon skill level is less or equal to 10, you're going to use the good formula, and if it is Rate that in 10, you're going to use the shitty formula. In the first case, you're going to gain 3% hit, which is amazing and is going to boost your DPS or your threat per second greatly. Let us jump right into the Glancing Blow explanation. Now, let me start by saying that Glancing Blows are a real pain in the ass for DPS classes, since they reduce the damage done to the target by 30%. Now, this only applies to auto attacks, but Range DPS classes and melee DPS classes always have a certain amount of glancing blows that will occur. For range DPS classes like hunters, they always have a 60% chance of landing a glancing blow on an auto attack. Melee classes always have a 40% chance of landing a glancing blow on an auto attack. There is absolutely nothing you can do to reduce the amount of glancing blows that are going to occur. However, you can reduce the damage reduction that they do. That might sound confusing at the start, but it actually only means uh, that you want to reduce uh, the damage reduction as much as you can so that you are not losing as much damage per glancing blow. What is also important to note is that glancing blows do not occur against players and uh, they cannot critically strike. Now, glancing blows are also based on uh, defense skill of the mob and the player's weapon skill. So uh, the 40% for melees is something you cannot change. Uh, however, you can change the Glancing Blow's damage reduction. To calculate the damage reduction of the Glancing Blow, we're going to use 2% uh, times the mob defense skill uh, minus the weapon skill of the player. That is actually really easy, and it just shows you that the additional weapon skill does not necessarily give you an even bigger boost in your hit rating, but it uh, does actually reduce the Glancing Blow damage reduction uh, from your auto attacks, which makes it still worth going for. Now in this formula you can now see 2% times mob defense skill minus the weapon skill of the player. For example, we would have 2% times uh, mob defense skill of 315 minus a weapon skill of 305. This would mean that the outcome is 20%. Which means that humans and orcs, for example, not only gain 3% extra hit from the weapon skill, but also gain 10% reduced glancing blow damage reduction, which makes it incredibly valuable. So basically what you get out of the 5 extra weapon skill is a 3% hit increase and 10% reduced glancing blows damage reduction. Sounds confusing, but that's how it is. Now the thing is, with extra weapon skill, you can actually reduce the glancing blows damage reduction even further, which makes it still valuable for you. Now this is especially interesting for classes that wield two-hand weapons because you only have that one hit and you don't want it to get reduced. So for all the reds out there living the red dream, uh, the weapon skill definitely is something to aim for. Now as you can see, the more weapon skill you gather, uh, the less damage reduction of the glancing blows you are going to have. 
However, it only affects 40% of your auto attacks, so it is probably not wise to just go all out on the weapon skill. But still, it is something to aim for because uh, there is a big difference in having zero weapon skill or having five or ten because with ten you only have six percent damage reduction of the glancing blows left which is quite a lot i mean if you imagine how many auto attacks rogues uh, bring out on a boss fight that is quite a bit now let's talk about the hunters really quick a little bit because hunters have a 60 percent chance of uh, getting a glancing blow the thing for hunters that really really sucks is that weapon skill above 300 from gear or racial bonuses affects neither the damage reduction nor the chances of landing a glancing blow. Now this is something that is different to the melees. Melees cannot change how many glancing blows actually occur, but they can at least reduce the damage reduction, which makes weapon skill for hunters only interesting uh, to get the 3% extra hit, which makes weapon skill on ranged weapons slightly inferior to weapon skill on melee weapons. Now to sum this video up really quick, I think weapon skill is something really interesting to look at and uh, can really make a big difference if you gather it or not on your items. And I think um, that uh, a certain amount of weapon skill is always worth getting, um, but at the same time you shouldn't sacrifice too many other stats of, uh, just, to, just to get uh, weapon skill. And you always have to take into account that uh, some items that have this weapon skill on them are actually really really expensive and I think you really have to decide for yourself if you want to go for it or not. What you can say and that is uh, something that I really want to get out there that the five extra weapon skill are a really really good all-round choice because they are, not only do they give you three percent uh, hit chance they also reduce their glancing blow damage reduction by 10% already which makes humans and orcs really really strong rolling the right race for hunters also makes a big difference i would say uh, because you automatically gain the 3% hit uh, however you cannot reduce the glancing blow damage reduction which sucks for hunters to be quite honest um, but uh, it is also safe to say that the more weapon skill you gather, the less glancing blow damage reduction you are going to have. And it is interesting to experiment around. Uh, and it is also interesting for tanks. Well, anyway, guys, I hope this video gave you a little bit of insight into how weapon skill and uh, the hit rating and the glancing blows work. This is something I thought would be really helpful for people that have not been playing vanilla all this much. And they're a little bit confused if they should go for the weapon skill or not. In the end, it is not a huge difference um, when it comes to downing bosses because you're just a one person out of the 40. But if you like min-maxing, it does make a big difference in your own DPS and it will uh, change the way that you are going to hit things. In the end, you will have to decide for yourself if it is worth. I would always say play the race that you actually want to play and race it's come second. But for people that want to min-max, it is definitely suggested that you roll the correct race or the role you want to fulfill. Anyway, that is it from me to this topic and uh, I hope this helped some new players out and I'll see you guys in the World of Warcraft. Welcome to our ending card, please like, review and comment as feedback is always appreciated and we hope to see you next time.